My name is Peggy Mason and I'm a professor of neurobiology at the University of Chicago. I thought tonight's discussion was really, really interesting. I learned some things I didn't know, such as helmets don't protect against angular accelerations. Who knew? They only protect against linear accelerations. Um, I learned more about the uh, consequences of a, uh, of, a, of a brain hit or hit to the head. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed hearing what the, the, the audience's questions were. And, and what I heard was people are really concerned. They're concerned for their children, for their grandchildren, and they're worried about uh, how, how to balance sports with brain health. I'm Dorothy Kozlowski. I'm a professor in the Department of Biological Sciences at DePaul University. So the research that we do in my laboratory is um, basic science research. So we're trying to understand how the brain tries to fix itself after it's had a traumatic brain injury. And we're also very interested in what the underlying mechanisms are um, that link potential repeat concussions to things like neurodegenerative diseases. But, so one of the most notable findings that has come from my lab recently is um, relates to the idea of neuroplasticity. So the idea of neuroplasticity is that your brain can reorganize and reconnect following uh, something like stroke. However, we have looked at it following an animal model of traumatic brain injury and have shown that the brain following a traumatic brain injury is not as plastic as one following stroke. And that being said, what that translates into is that animals who have had a traumatic brain injury need longer, um, more varied, and more intense types of, of physical rehabilitation in order to have the same kinds of recovery as we see in animals that have had similar types of rehabilitation following stroke. My name is Jeff Mianis. I am a physician, a sports medicine specialist at Rush University Medical Center. I run a sports practice, sports medicine uh, practice, so I see lots of injuries, including concussion. Well, if a patient comes in and they have a concussion, um, my initial uh, treatment approach is, well, first, I need to take a history, find out everything that has happened, uh, find out what their current symptoms are, uh, find a little bit about their past medical history, do they have any conditions that might lead to a prolonged recovery, such as attention deficit disorder or history of migraine. Um, then I do a complete neurologic exam and a physical exam, and we even look at things like balance and cranial nerve function, and, and we may do a cognitive test as well, which is a test of kind of the brain's function and thought processes and things like that. People need to realize exactly what's in the title. Traumatic brain injury is an injury to the brain and the brain is the most sensitive, most unique organ that we have. It controls everything. You're only given one brain for your whole life and so I think um, that we need kids to play sports, we need people to be active, um, but we also need to take care of our brain. And so if you get an injury to the head and you have any symptoms that are similar to a concussion such as a headache or dizziness or mental fogginess or whatever it may be, so the best thing to do is to advocate for yourself, stick up for yourself, recognize that this might be an injury to my brain, step out of the game, step out of the practice, give yourself some rest, be evaluated by a clinician who's experienced at dealing with concussions, um, and then get on the right treatment path.